what is up everyone and welcome back to another demo demonstration today we're going to be checking out spells and secrets and from what i understand this game is heavily inspired by none other than our all-time favorites harry potter and the hogwarts that is itself And honestly, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. You can definitely, I don't know if you guys can hear, but the music in the background is definitely giving me that wizardry feel. Um, and I'm here for it. I'm here for all of it. Um, aside from that, a little bit about the game, right? It is, of course, we all know, you know, it's a 3D game, right? It's filled with, um, you know, a little bit of puzzles, a little bit of different mechanics. Um, it is definitely supposed to have like a cozy kind of feel to it. Um, but anyways, just a little bit of the backstory of the game, right? We're going to start out basically as a first year. Um, and we're going to be arriving at the Academy of, I believe this is Griffinstein. Correct me if I'm wrong, right? Um, so it's going to be set in a world and time similar to ours um, where we're going to live and learn together with our fellow students and professors at the impressive magical castle. And I think right out the gate, something weird kind of happens. And that's about all I know. So um, without further ado, let's go. Now, now that's cool. That's real cool. Uh, all right. So here we are. Now, I don't know exactly how long this demo is, but in this particular setting, we are going to make an attempt to play it all the way through, guys. All the way through. Um, first things first, let's, let's check out some settings real quick. Um, whoa, it does have controller. Huh. All right. I don't know if I want to leave V-Sync on. I'll leave it on. Okay. Hopefully the audio guys isn't too loud right now, so I'm probably going to leave it. Uh-huh. Curious though. Um, I'm gonna see what this controller is like. Okay. All right. I believe we are set to go. Let's do this. Oh, lovely. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. You know what? This character might not be bad starting out the gate. It looks pretty cool to me. Let's see. Idle pose. Oh, so we have different poses. Heroic. Proud. Hip. Shady. <laughs> Shady. Relaxed, shy. Let's see, we got a page two here. Reserved, elegant, playful, cute, apathetic, sassy. 
Mm. We're gonna go with the heroic pose. Um, let's see, there was a couple more things here. Skin color. Ooh. Not bad. I'm I'm already loving some of the Okay, so you only get two body types, feminine and masculine. Okay, fair enough. We got a head shape. Wait, why is head shape a color? You know what? I'm just going to leave that how it is. I'm, I'm a little confused about... Oh, but why is, why is it a color though? Well, he could be like really freaking tall. That's crazy. Oh yeah, we gonna be tall as heck. Super tall. So. Um. Oh. I'm gonna leave his head how it is. <laughs> All right. Let me go back here. Face type. Let's see here. Doesn't necessarily tell me which one. Oh, okay. We got a couple different ones here. Okay. I'm just gonna quickly just kind of show you guys. All the different ones. Okay. Oh, I see what's happening. They're kind of aligning with the like the pose you kind of choose. Mm, we'll go with this one. Face details. Okay, so you can have a mole or, you know, beauty mark. I'm going to come back and say no. You can have acne. Okay. Mark. Let's see what's on page two. A tattoo. That's interesting. Vitiligo. Okay. Oh, okay. So they, they kind of... I see what they did. They kind of just, you know, catered to everybody, which is, I think it's pretty cool. Um, we're going to go none. Eye color, we'll leave it as is. Okay. Head style. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We're going to go no glasses. But, you know, as previously, I want to show you guys what's there to be offered. I'm kind of thinking the earrings though, I ain't gonna lie. Oh. I probably didn't have to do that, but I did. I kind of like this. All right, cool. This is makeup. Of course, I'm just, like I said, just kind of showing what's available. A little something for everybody, you know? Alright. So, we're going to go hair color. Oh, what's this one? Hairstyle. We'll go hairstyle first. So, we got bald. 
shaved, mop, ponytail, blunt, side cut, style, slick, curly, dreads, fuzzy, quick bun. I'm okay. I'm feeling the quick bun. short locks which I believe this is what he kind of started out with oh cropped okay nice short double bun of course these are all now the the female um, versions or hair you know or you know, whatever you want to put on your character all right long casual loose all right so i think i'm gonna go with nah <laughs> we're gonna go with kind of like the bun though oh, yeah i'm going with the bun i mean don't get me wrong i got locks too but um let's see Everybody's like, oh, make it realistic. All right, here we go. First things first. Sure. Hmm. We'll keep the top. Not a whole lot of options here. All right, cool. I think he's already wearing a watch. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Clothing. He's wearing these. I don't know if I like those. I like this better. Um, let's see. What do these look like? Uh, yeah, we'll just do this. I wish you could change like the color, but you can't. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna name him. Pretty much name all my characters the same thing. Just trying to see was my caps lock, um, but it wasn't, and it just wouldn't let me put two capital letters there. All right, but anyways, here we go. to call a friend oh okay so apparently you can play co-op in this nice all right how do we run can we run Professor Amanda Ventura. Good evening. You must be DJ. Welcome to the Academy of Griffinstein. My name is Professor Amanda Ventura, and I am in charge of all of new arrivals, like you. You are late, but don't worry. I used to be late all the time. <laughs> we all. 
It is with great joy that I introduce you to our proud griffin. So is that Merlin or Merlin? Say Merlin. Merlin. <laughs> Venerable protector. Protector. Oh my God. Venerable protector of the academy and the beating heart of Griffinstein. He has watched over our school for centuries and is always there when he is called upon. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Maybe you could even pet him. Oh, this is about to get interesting. It says approach. Easy, big fella, easy. <laughs> I was afraid of that. Don't worry. Merlin will always... I, that is really going to mess me up. Is that Merlin? Or Merlin? I'm going to say Merlin. <laughs> it's always skeptical of newcomers at first. Once the two you get to know each other a little better, he will become more trusting. Oh, it is getting dark already. You best go straight to your room in the living quarters. I will see you tomorrow. All right, so, ooh, can we, can we kick? Oh, shoot. Go. <laughs> so, you know, for me, I haven't um, purchased Harry Potter, you know, the Hogwarts le legacy. This is a good alternative for me. All right, let's go. Um, one being when the game actually came out, I was in school um, for recruiting. So I did didn't want to be distracted really so i didn't purchase it oh nice that's a nice little bedroom Ooh, i love cutscenes but yeah i didn't want to purchase it and oh Attention all students, this is your principal speaking. As we speak, an unknown force is trying to enter the castle. No reason to worry, the castle's defenses work like a charm. Nevertheless, I have to ask you all to report to the secure schoolyard immediately. Your teachers will secure the school and assist you. Be on your guard. Find a way out of your room. Okay, let's go check this out. Sorcery for beginners. Telekinesis. Hey. Telekinesis is a simple but versatile spell. This spell allows you to move a target by sheer willpower without even touching it. Make sure you keep a firm footing and focus on your target. Maintain the spell and imagine yourself moving the target object instead of your body. It says use all of your willpower to move a target with your mind. You can move you can make you can move any movable entity, including creatures. Pretty sure there's a typo there. Artifacts you find may modify this spell in various ways. It says cast primary spell. Okay. Oh. Nice. All right, 
Co. Whoa. Hey, DJ. I'm glad to see you are well. The whole school is suddenly crawling with magical creatures causing all kinds of trouble. Do you see those main doors? They close automatically and remain locked as long as intruders are present in, in an area. Got it. They will only open once all intruders have been defeated and the area has been secured. Oh, I am being summoned. Alas, I cannot accompany you back to the schoolyard, so you will have to fend for yourself. What? I just, we just got here. Are you familiar with the magic missile yet? Uh, no. I only just learned kinesis. <laughs> Telekinesis, my bad. It is very simple. Stay focused on your target and think about how much you want to get rid of it. <laughs> okay. I really need to get going now. I'll see you in the schoolyard. Uh, this magical missile offensive spell. Create a magical missile to attack a distant target. Does not affect friendly targets. Charge this spell to increase the damage dealt by the magic missile. Artifacts you find may modify the spell in various ways. All right, so we're going to cast it with B. Gotcha. Oh, man. Nice. Okay, look at me. Wait, is it dead? Or no? Okay, it's dead. <laughs> but anyways, I was saying like... Whoa! I was saying, um... You know, this is a good alternative to Hogwarts Legacy. You know, I'm pretty sure, you know, the parts is going to be different, obviously, because this is kind of like an indie title. But, um, you know, for those of us, including myself, that have not played Hogwarts Legacy, this is a pretty good um, alternative, I think. Oh wait, I can't go that way yet. Okay. Ah. Here we go. Ooh, no, no, no. So I'm a little curious though, um, when you're pressing certain buttons, for instance, B, are you supposed to continue to hold it or just hold it briefly and then fire off? Oh crap. What is that thing? Lost schoolmate. Oh, hey, you there. Good thing you're here. As you can see, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Clumsy me. Forgot to bring along my wand. <laughs> Without it, I regrettably can't do anything against this armadillo. But surely you can help me out here. You must have noticed what happened to the thing when it rolled against the wall. Armadillos show their vulnerable belly when stunned. Make sure you give the beast a good whack at just the right time. I'm sure that'll be a piece of cake for you. Watch out, it's waking up. Oh man, where the heck did it go though? Oh crap. Dude, can I run? 
defeat the armadillo. There we go. So I don't think you gotta hold B down. You just gotta hold it a little bit and then cast the spell. Oh, so his name is Robin. Robin Peters. Excellent. I knew you could do it. Just like this armadillo, each creature has certain weak spots. If you find these and exploit them, you can make any beast vulnerable and defeat them with ease. Use your spells creatively and observe carefully how beings react to them. This way, you will sooner or later find all the weaknesses. Thank you for saving me. I haven't even introduced myself yet. I'm Robin Peters, second year. Nice to meet you, Robin. I'm sure you've heard of me. Always looking to solve tricky cases. What do you think? Should we work together and figure out what's going on? With your magical talent and my masterful detective eye, I'm sure we'll make an unbeatable team. Is that so? I'll go on back to the schoolyard and get myself to safety. Meet me there and I'll help you solve the mystery surrounding this attack on our school. Yo, I want to know how to just vanish too. I'm not gonna lie, this is a cute little game. The music. Alright, so we've gotta go. Whoa, talk to the professor. Dr. Theodore O'Pot. Hello, you must be one of this year's newcomers. Let me introduce myself. Dr. Theodore Octavius Pot, supervisory teacher for first year students. You may skip the doctor if you like. Oh, and Octavius too, please. <laughs> so, oh wow, so he wants to be called Pot. <laughs> Evidently, there's another one of these nasty creatures in this area. You seem to know how to defend yourself against such intruders. So how about a new spell? Take your pick. Ooh. Okay, so we have Jostle. It's an offensive spell. Produce a shockwave to forcefully push away targets in front of you. Entities that move too fast will cause and suffer appropriate effects on collu collision. Charge the spell to increase the range and force of the shockwave. Okay. Uh, mouse form, utility spell. Transform yourself into a swift and tiny mouse to avoid detection by hostile creatures. Swift entities have increased movement speed. Transferred entities transform back when damaged. Hmm and levitate enchant a target to levitate it making it airborne airborne entities cannot move charge the spell to increase the duration of its effect um i'm gonna do this one A splendid choice. I have one essential lesson for you. You can find magical artifacts all over the castle. These artifacts are items that modify and enhance some of your spells while you are carrying them. There is a hidden room next door with such an artifact. Your students think it is a secret, but what you might not know is that I hid it there in my own student days. By the way, that is not the only secret to be found here in these walls. Be that as it may, the artifact in this room will modify your new spell. This will make your fight with the intruder 
a breeze. However, the entrance to the secret room is locked behind a riddle, so you have to use your wits to find your way in. I'll give you one last tip before I have to take my leave. Follow the light and you will be enlightened. Ooh, why to cast flex spell? All right. Ooh. ooh. Okay, hold on. Wait, I think. There we go. Defeat the intruder, Alfred's glove. Jostle interrupts, confuses, and even stuns any target it hits based on how long you charge it. Confused entities cannot target anything. All right, cool. All oh, man. Hold on one second. All right, here we go. So, oh, okay. So we got a little, little HUD there at the bottom. All right, I'm ready. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Dude, how do you run? It can teleport, dude. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> nice. Oh, run away, run away. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh man! Dude, I am kicking this thing's butt. Dude, what the heck?
Oh crap. <laughs> Okay, that was a lot harder than it looked. <clears throat> it was fun though. I'm a little curious. How do you run? Investigate the magic circle. Crap. Excellent. My teleport traps are working. Everything is going to plan. Who the heck is this person? Well, what have we here? A lost little hatchling. You must have fallen out of your nest. Too bad. Your old griffin patron isn't here to protect you. Prepare for your end. What the? Come on, man. Oh, what the? Dude, how do you run? What the heck, bro? This man. What? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what just happened? I lost. Why? Why? That's what your arrogance gets you. It is really quite pathetic what has become of the school. I hope the next one you send will be more of a challenge. So I'm, I'm curious, were we supposed to lose that battle or did I just really suck? I think I just really sucked, guys. But anyways, Robin says, you are the real deal, DJ. What a cool entrance. Thanks again for saving me from that rampaging armadillo. Whatever's going on around here is pretty suspicious, don't you think? I have a feeling we'll solve this case together. Would you mind going back to the castle to look for more clues? It should be a breeze for you with your magic skills. Bro, I just lost a epic battle. What are you talking about? Why don't we figure out what happened together and hunt down those responsible? Get back to me when you discover something new. But before you follow that good instinct of yours, you should talk to Professor Ventura. All right. Good to see you again, DJ. Our little detective is right. Your entrance was truly impressive. However, I don't think Robin understood its significance. You need to know one thing. You only stand before me now because Merlin gave you one of his mighty feathers. Whatever you encountered in the castle wanted you wanted your demise. Did I say Merlin? Merlin's Merlin. You know what? Mer I'm gonna say Merlin. 
y'all want to fight me about it fight me feather prevented the worst it all began tonight with that strange explosion in the castle all right guys my apologies i did not realize that my <laughs> phone was still um not on silent but anyways continuing since then merlin merline and the principal have disappeared without a trace i hope they are both well i never thought i would see the magic of a griffin feather myself it is said that a griffin feather carries its owner to safety when they are in mortal danger. Merlin seems to have suspected something even before tonight's incident occurred. You should keep this secret to yourself. There are people in the world who would do terrible things to attain the power of a griffin feather. However, there is one advantage to this whole predicament. You are now free to explore the castle without us having to fear for your safety. Nice. <laughs> Nevertheless, prepare yourself well. After all, you will have to fight your way through. Please visit Dr. Pot and learn a new spell. He is waiting for you in the middle of the schoolyard. Now his name is Dr. Pot, of course. I want to know, like... How do you sprint? Like, because this ain't, like, this, like, jog right here ain't it. Like, you can't dodge something like that. Hopefully, we learn some defense spells at this point. Hello, DJ. Nice to see that you are in one piece. It seems the last spell I showed you was quite useful. I'll be happy to teach you more. Visit me anytime. Mm -hmm. Wow, you have to pay? Oh, thank God. Look. Thank God. The spell that we chose to learn, we did because it's 2,000, whatever that is, coins. I'm going to just say coins. Maybe it's XP points or something, I don't know, but. Um, let's see. I think this one would have probably been. Or maybe this one. I think I want to try the rat one or the mouse. Not bad. The mouse. I'm gonna try the mouse. Alright, so he only wants us to do spells. Excellent, DJ. I see you and Dr. Pot are getting along pretty well. Before you leave for the castle, I have some important advice for you. Once you have gained enough experience, you can visit us professors to improve your skills. For example, I could teach you enhanced forms of telekinesis spell and the magic missile. The Griffin's Iphany in the century of the schoolyard even allows you to permanently improve your basic stats, such as health or mana. You can now explore other areas that border the schoolyard, the atrium, and the promenade. There you will find more schoolmates, magical devices, and access to the different student factions. Would you mind keeping an eye out for lost schoolmates inside the castle? There must be some who are still trapped in different parts of the castle. I'm sure that if you rescue them, 
and later visit them in the schoolyard, they will gladly share their valuable experiences with you. Oh, one last thing. Don't be surprised if the castle appears unfamiliar each time you enter it. Where y'all get that idea from? Hmm? A magical defense mechanism ensures that areas are constantly rearranged, resulting in a crazy maze. Have fun in the castle! Alright. <gasps> we have a broomstick? Wow, there's so much stuff going on right now. Wow. Wait, is that a broomstick or is that a wand? Okay, maybe... Okay, it's not a broomstick, it's a wand. All right, so this looks like our map. Oh, we could teleport. Okay. Hmm, okay, so that's how you switch. Let's open our smartphone. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. So these are all of the missing things you can discover. Oh, they have bosses. see what's happening here I'm assuming these are second year third year maybe fourth year okay let's see award case strange incident okay this is part of the stories awards you have Essential Awards. You have Pinnacle Awards. The character Progress. Pub Exploration. Castle Exploration. Student Factions. Miscellaneous Mischief. Mm, Pinnacle. You have Magical Mystery and Knowledge and Power. Nice. Alright. Um, let's see. It's telling me to go this way. I really want to know how to run. Hey. Oh, what's this? Act 1. First day of school. You arrived at the Academy of Griffin Stein and were welcomed by Elder Griffin Merlin. The professor and living symbol of the castle. On your very first night, a powerful explosion rocked the spire's savage. The creature certainly descended upon the school, but there was no sign of Merlin or the principal. You encountered a mysterious figure as you made your way to the safety of the schoolyard. He, a master of dark magic, wanted to dispose of you with a powerful destruction spell. You were only saved from certain demise by the powerful magic feather given to you by Merlin shortly after your arrival. So I didn't know that when we first met, 
the griffin that you know he gave me a feather I didn't know that with the help of your classmates classmate Robin Peters you set out to solve the mystery surrounding these events thanks to Merlin's gift you alone are equipped to face the threat now lurking in the castle um wow there's a lot of people to talk to here all right um yeah we're gonna go ahead inside So far, so good, you know? Not bad. Okay. So I guess we're just gonna explore a little bit. Reactive Recycler. Magic Missile has a chance to create an additional tiny missile whenever it hits a target. These tiny missiles pierce track and can hit the same target multiple times. Huh. So I guess we can just kind of explore a little bit here. See what what the castle has to offer. Nice. There was something over here. History of Griffinstein. In 1546, a failed summoning ritual led to the academy adopting powerful defensive spells. In case of danger, the affected area is magically sealed until the threat is eliminated. In the event of an attack, the castle changes continuously to trap the attackers in a labyrinth. So kind of like what Professor Ventura was talking about. Oh, cool, you can just kind of kick stuff. Anything else in here? Hmm, okay. Can we look at the painting? This one's kind of glowing. Or maybe not. That was kind of weird. Let's see. I feel like we've been over here. What the? Bro.
Dude, what the heck? <laughs> nah, bro. I'm over here about to die because of this thing. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, this is a nice little little room. Or how am I about to die? It's crazy. Oh no. Last time I jumped in one of those portals, I almost died. I ain't ready for that yet. <laughs> we we not ready for that yet. It just like regenerated. So, a little curious. As to... How do we use the artifact? over here Ooh. latest school paper a lot of plunders the new head girl you can read what really makes this daredevil tick in our exclusive interview as soon as we have been able to conduct it hopefully she will soon return from her expedition into the secret rooms of the academy All right, so I'm assuming that's you know Somebody might be of importance. Um, let's see. Right. So this looks like it might be our room. I think this was our room. Yeah, one of the rooms. I don't know which one.
<laughs> Look at that. That almost took me out last time. Some rocking tunes. Oh, nice. So they haven't said exactly how you get life in here, so um, yeah, I'm probably gonna die. All right, so you can't go that way. So I guess the only way is back out the way we came, possibly. Okay, so over there. She looked like she's just shaking in her boots right now. Hold on, hold on. Let me make sure. All right, let's see what's up. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Thank you for clearing the way back for me. See you in the central schoolyard. Oh, nice. how you can just destroy everything just walk over the floor and just destroy everything um so i think that might be it inside of here that's obviously closed off so back this way okay so right there's something over here no, we were just over there, right? We we're just here, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Let's go this way. Do do do. I thought I had already been in here. That was kind of weird. Nice. Basic knowledge of griffins. Ancient records tell of a unique power inherent in the feathers of the proud and rare griffins. The feathers are said to make the wizard who possesses them truly invincible so what you're saying is um 
Invincible. On guard. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, I see what's happening. All right. There's something in there. Nice. <laughs> I knew there was something to that, that, uh, like pictures, those postings, postings, paintings. Scented letter. My love, I look forward to sneaking in here again with you during break time. 1,000 kisses. Oh. Guys in here, mm-hmm. Ooh. Nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. It's gonna continue this way. Ooh. Interesting. Let me make sure nothing's over here. This looks interesting. Ah. Oh. Right. Nothing over there. Mm. Oh, we cannot go in there. All right, fair enough. Oh. No, buddy. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. All right, I think we might be done here. Oh, now I can go in this door. Crap. Oh, come on, man. Okay, so it's not in this room. Oof. I think 
is in the hallway though. Where is he? Oh, it's in here. Is it in there? Liquid change. Throw this potion to temporarily transform all targets into tiny mice. Transform entities. Transform back when damaged. Ooh, fancy. Alright, let's go. Info poster. Are you still taking root of starting to outrun them all? Magical Endurance, run with Curator Nat... Nelia? Ab Abara. Mm. Every Wednesday, uh, no dawdling. Okay. There's something in here. Nah, bro. Come out of there. Not be defeated so easily. Nope. Mm -mm. Yes, sir. How focused I am, baby. <laughs> All right. I can't believe I wasted money on a rat or mice potion. <laughs> I think I've been in here. Yeah, okay. Oh, crap. Dude, I'm not ready to... To fight this dude, man. Can I just can I just skip? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't, dude. I'm gonna die. All right, ain't nothing I can do but just do it. Great. Malo the Vishish. Trying to make yourself look big, act the hero and earn a nice reward for yourself. You look far too weak for that. You'll never stand in the way of the crown. Sheesh! Watch. Dude, I already knew I was gonna die. <laughs> I only had a little bit of life left. Literally. That's all I had. I'm assuming that there is a lot in this world to um, unpack.
Okay, so that's where... That's where we started from. Alright, so we're gonna talk to the professor. Wow. I already have both of those. Carl. Oh, it's you, DJ. Well, there is one upside to this whole affair. No exams. I'll tell you something else. You can enable local co-op at any time while you are here in the hub. Visit the landing platform and use the co-op beacon to call a friend. Nice. Alright, so we're gonna kind of mosey around and meet a few people. Yeah, there's not much he can really give us right now. Hey DJ, nice to meet you. I barely made it back to the schoolyard before the castle was sealed off. Did you know? Spend your earned experience to learn new spells, improve them, or unlock character upgrades. Upgrading your spells will make them more effective against your foes. Against more powerful opponents, deeper in the castle, your spells require more improvements for them to be effective. You can permanently improve your character's stats, like health or mana, at the griffin's effigy if if in the schoolyard. Okay. So, my thing is this. Um, I'm still a little curious as to how this game is going to kind of work. Because I kind of see, like, you do need the experience points to kind of learn new spells and unlock stuff for your character, so... I'm hoping this isn't like one of those games that's gonna be, you know, um, kinda hidden behind pay firewalls, cause that would really suck. DJ, I knew you were doing fine. I'm sure you'll find many other students in the castle. Let me help you. The central hub has a lot to offer. Use the magic mirror to customize your character, or the sorcerer's sundial to change the time of day. Oh. Four student factions have their own areas in the hub. Once you gain access to those, you can use their features as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Hi, you must be DJ. We are very lucky to be safe here in the schoolyard. Have you heard? Always observe your foe's reaction to attacks and spells to learn about their weaknesses. You can exploit them to make them vulnerable and defeat them more efficiently. You might not always find the right moment to damage a vulnerable foe in the heat of a battle. However, exploiting their weaknesses will take them out for a short time, giving you time to breathe. Another one of the new no- Wow! Okay, Reed. Throwing shade? Okay! Another one of the new nobodies. You're lucky you made it out here. Let me give you some advice. Potions are useful and can be very powerful if you use them wisely. Don't be afraid to use them when you need them, as they are easily recharged. Okay. Excuse me. Hey DJ, thanks for helping me. Without you, I wouldn't have made it back out the castle. 
Can I give you a hint? Of course. I once discovered a mouse hole in the castle. I love to know where I love to know what's hiding on the other side, but I just can't fit through. Oh. So you know we have that mouse transform. Okay, I just want to see if she had anything else. All right, cool. Talk to this person. Yo, DJ, cool bumping into you. Cool bumping into you too, man. I'm new here too. Maybe we can hang out sometime. How about a helpful hint? Always stay in motion during combat to avoid getting hit. You can use objects and obstacles as cover. Targeting foes or objects can be a challenge in the middle of combat. Try and play around with different controls and targeting settings. Mmm, to adjust them to your playstyle. Yo, that was probably the most helpful hint that I've gotten this entire time. Alright, let's see. Can we do anything here? Just like practice or like what? Um, let's go see here. Jesse, hey DJ, thanks for your help. I hope you can save some of the others from the castle. Can I share a hint with you? Your spells all have unique and useful effects. Combine them in creative ways to achieve powerful synergies. Artifacts are very powerful items, especially when combined with others. You should always try out the ones you find to learn about their effects and possible synergies. Keep an eye on your surroundings to discover useful objects or features. They may offer you a great advantage in combat. I got you, man. Serena! Hey, DJ. How are you? I was so excited about the new school year, and now this. I have a secret for you. If you lose all of your health, oh, she she about to put me on game. If you lose all of your health, you will be defeated. Shield health protects your health from being depleted. Okay. If you are defeated while in the castle, your run will fail and you are returned to the schoolyard. You can abort a run at any time via the pause menu to return to the schoolyard. When a run ends, <gasps> what? See, I don't agree with this part. I don't agree because, ouch. Why is it that if I return to the schoolyard, you are going to take all of my gold, my artifacts, and my potions. I don't like it. You will never lose earned experience, learn spells, or unlocked upgrades. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that at all. <clears throat> yeah, I can't say that. I'm a fan of that. Why does he have a... Okay. So you've met one another. They call themselves the crown, you say. That is something I have never heard of. But it sounds very suspicious. Like a real secret organization. I wonder what they're up to. Maybe we'll find out if you keep investigating the castle. Let me see. Did 
There's a lot going on here, man. Oh, okay. Here's the sundial. If we want to change the time of day. Okay. Katie. Oh, hey, DJ. I hope the other students still stuck in the castle are okay. I have learned one important thing. There are many schoolmates still stuck in the castle if you have not rescued all of them already. Upon being rescued, they will reward you with experience and give you useful hints when meeting them back here in the hub. Rumor has it the twins see, the in see this incident at the school as a business opportunity. Maybe you can give them a hand. Okay. Um... Okay. I don't know if this makes you run faster or not, but it looks like it. Linda. Hey, DJ. Good thing you stopped by. I have a valuable clue for you. Your run progress is saved whenever you enter a new floor in the castle. You can leave the game and later return to the beginning of that floor. Keep your eyes open for secret puzzles while you are exploring the castle. Solving them will grant you a useful reward. Okay, cool. Dream Dancer Valerie. Hello, you must be DJ. My name is Valerie. I am who's responsible for us Dream Dancers. We are all about fun and creativity. We love to try things. Try things out, both in life and in magic. Our meeting place is the library behind me, but sadly, I can only let our members in. I can't officially make you a dream dancer until you've mastered our faction spell. Once you've gained enough experience, I can teach it to you. Hmm. So to unlock it, you have to learn all first year spells. Um, but the spell is called imitate transform yourself into a copy of your target you can you cannot copy bosses humans or reward containers oops all right cool all right so um let's see i don't know if we can go this way but Green Guard Noel. Hi, you are DJ, aren't you? I'm Noel, the leader of the Green Guards. Our values are friendship and cooperation. Life is much easier when we help each other. Our meeting place is the park just down the stairs, but only Green Guards are allowed to enter. You can join us if you want, but you must know how to perform our faction spell. I can show you if you have enough experience. Oh, wow. Okay, so it says partner spell. Make any non-human target your companion or heal it if it's already a companion. A companion becomes your ally and will follow you around. You can only have a single companion at any time. Making any creature your companion for the first time will complete its entry in your collector's guide. And to unlock this, you have to learn all 30 year spells. Bro, oh, I'm, I'm only a first year, guys. Go easy on me. Let's see, but there was a stairwell here. Let's see if there's... Hmm... Let's see what we have. Raid. Real nice how you look after me. You should rather help someone who actually needs your help. I want to give you some useful advice. Casting your spells depletes mana, which swiftly regenerates after a short time. You cannot cast a spell if you don't have any mana.
If you take damage while casting a spell, you will be interrupted and have to start over. Okay, that's fair enough. I think I learned that when I got hit the one time. Shine Hunter. Hey, DJ. Cool meeting you. I'm Linder, the leader of the Shine Hunters. Our group loves exploring and collecting. We are always on the lookout for new discoveries and artifacts. Behind me is our gallery, but you have to be one of us for me to let you in, of course. If you want to become a real Shine Hunter, you have to show that you know how to use our faction spell. If you have enough experience, I can teach you. Alright, so it's called Reclaim. Concentrate to imprint the last artifact you picked up. This will remove it, but grant you its effect permanently. Oh. You can only have a single artifact imprinted at any time. And we need to learn all of the second year spells to unlock it. Julie, just fascinating all these magical occurrences in the castle. I would love to go inside and explore them. I'll tell you one thing I've learned already. Your smartphone offers a lot of useful features. Use the spell organizer to manage your loadout and artifacts, or view the magic map to find your way around. View the award case and collector's guide apps to track your progress with achievements and discoveries. Oh, that's so cool. It moves. Oh, is this the magic mirror? It is. Okay, so we don't need that. Um, all right. There was a door over here, though. I don't think... Mmm. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't think that's the door that we came out of. Alright, so basically, you have to go back in here. So I'm assuming we have to defeat the boss in order to move on, basically. And because I suck, we haven't defeated the boss. Um, but let's see. Oh. Ooh, it's a telekinesis artifact. Challenging telekinesis on an inanimate target for long enough electrifies it for as long as you continue casting. Electrified entities deal damage and stun on contact. It's interesting that it starts a timer when you enter the castle. Oh my god, bro. Seriously? Uh, here we go with this again, man. Cool. So, my thing is, is I don't like the fact that you have to basically redo everything that you've kind of done previously
Dude, I'm really starting to not like the... <laughs> that little turtle thing, man. Frog, turtle, whatever it is. Okay, so not that way. Just chess pieces. Oh, great. This thing, bro. So it's basically just telling us about the pieces and what they are. Actually, let me... Okay, never mind. Let me go that way anyways. Oh, it's the freaking armadillo. I thought it was the frog thing. <laughs> this guy again all right And we're off down the hallway. Whoa, that's a different one.
Oh man. Dude, come on! I'm not sure I like that. Oh wait, we saw that last time. See man, now I don't have enough to defeat the dang boss guy. What the? Anton, hey you. Didn't expect to see anyone else wandering around out here. I'm Anton, CEO and eager co-founder of Goldfuck. Shops and services. My brother Emil and I have just launched our business and promptly everything starts going terribly wrong. That pesky incident at school has thrown quite a spanner in the works for us. All of our inventory and savings have been scattered around the castle in the commotion. So if you find any golden troves and lucky bags, then their contents are probably part of our startup capital. I can offer you a few leftovers until we have rebuilt our supplies. If you want to help us rebuild, you should talk to Emil in the schoolyard. I'll let him know to meet you there. Mmm. I'm gonna take this. Because I'm gonna need it, I think. Man, my eye is going crazy right now. There's something in here. You can hear it. I don't know where you are. Oh, never mind. <laughs> there it is. Wow, dude, he took like all of my heart help. Uh, 
That's insane. That they allow him one blow and he takes all of your health. Oh, great. Here we go with this again. Wait, I ain't ready yet. <laughs> Bro, I'm not ready. Um, gee. I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my god, dude. Oh yeah! No oh, man! That was intense. I had barely a life left.
That's right, who's the boss? Yeesh. We did it. Oh man. Nice. Oh. I forget you gotta hold this thing down. It might be it, guys. Well, 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 there you have it. That is essentially the end of the demo. Um, however, as you can see on screen, it does say that you can continue to play the demo for as long as you like exploring Griffinstein and make even more discoveries. However, for the sake of this video, I am going to end it right here, guys. Um, that last battle was, was pretty intense for me, okay? I barely had life left and yeah this is intense but anyways i enjoyed playing the game it was a lot of fun hope you enjoyed watching me play it seeing the excitement of everything and you know i highly encourage you to go check out this game or yeah the, the demo of the game for yourself you never know you might actually like it being that it is coming into october um, you're, we're kind of starting to see a lot more of like, um, wizardry, um, you know, more, uh, I think it's like wizard, yeah, wizardry, a little bit on the spooky side of games that are kind of coming out. But, um, again, appreciate each and every one of you tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really does help. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.